Hmm. I love that. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, totally. Let's have at it. I'm just glad I put makeup on today. <laughs> I started Spexy University because doctors are terrible businessmen. <laughs> Sorry, docs. I mean, but it's true though. You know, doctors go to school for the sole purpose of becoming fabulous doctors. And they're often terrible businessmen because it's not what they were taught. And it's even worse for optometrists because optometry is the only med medical profession that has so much of its success relying on retail sales, where every other doctor relies mainly on their professional services, right? And in optometry, doctors can be screwing it up for decades and decades and decades, right? They cannot be maximizing the opportunity of their business and they can make a decent living in optometry. Optometry is a very lucrative business. However, if they have the know-how to run an amazing business, that's where you get the really successful optometrist. So I guess the answer to the question is, why did I start Spexy University? Because if opticals have the know-how to be amazing, it will transform their lives. And we've just figured out how to teach them. We give access to only four lessons a month. Um, because we have to give offices time to implement what they've learned before they move on to something else. I mean, let's talk about it. how many times have you gone to a conference or an expo? You take a ton of classes, you get super inspired and you're ready to change how you're doing things in the office. Then you get back to the office and then you look back three months later and not a damn thing has changed. Why? Why is that? It's because you're going to these conferences and hopefully they're amazing trainings, let's just assume that they all are, but you're drinking through a fire hose. And then you're gonna get back to your office where you're totally bombarded with patients and problem after problem and this, that, and the other. There is no time to implement. So with Spexy University, we give you kind of like little nuggets of brilliance. <laughs> we show you um, how to, you know, use these tools. We even give you tools to implement change. We give you a few days to practice it and then we release more. So it's trainings to optimize change. No, it's not. Oh, you just cued that one right on up for me. <laughs> no, it has not always been that way. Um, we have, uh, with previous versions of Spexy University, actually before Spexy was Spexy, it was called Bridgepoint Optics, and we were actually giving um, opticals access to a library of everything that you're learning with Spexy University. And you know what's awesome? They didn't use it. They would get full access to it and they wouldn't use it because they just kind of had all this stuff and they figured it was there to use whenever they needed it. So what we're doing is we're keeping the hunger and the excitement with moving forward with new learning and new trainings. And we find that when we drip release it to opticals, so about every four weeks, they'll get a new, new set of trainings and it's much more impactful. And opticals are really excited about it because they've been able to implement the changes from before. Well, I can honestly, I can sell it for so cheap because we have figured out basically how to optimize the learning process, right? So we have it online, so it's not me coming in there and training you. So what's really great is doing it this way, we can help five doctors or we can help 5,000 doctors. So we're able to keep it at a lower price point and really kind of knock down that barrier to entry for doctors being able to get help with running their optical. And it's so funny, you know, we have um, a thing up on our Facebook that says we make typical consultants dizzy and it is fascinating to me <laughs> how many consultants have come up to me and they say, you know, what you've got is really great. Why, why are you selling it for so cheap? And uh, we, we are really making typical consultants dizzy <laughs> because we want to be able to make a huge change with opticals. Well, Optical, opticals need specs in university because they need some sort of guidance. They need metrics, they need measurable change, they need to be learning, growing, adapting. Not all opticals need specs in university, but most of them do. And uh, I guess more directly, how do I know? Because I have had one-on-one -on -one personal training in my consulting days with a couple hundred opticals overall. And you know what is really amazing to me is they all come back with the same problems. Yeah, I'll go in there and do a customized workup and do all this stuff. But seriously, 90% of them have the same foundational issues. It's just some are more magnified. Some are, you know, they don't even realize that there are problems. They just want to optimize what's going on. But we've worked one-on-one -on -one with hundreds of opticals. And here we are 
delivering specs to university because we know that we can help. We deliver the content in the way that we do because in order to learn on this big level, you've got to get some foundational stuff figured out, right? And so we have strategically, I mean, we've had so many planning processes when we got rid of the library and we decided we were going to feed this out to opticals, what would be the most beneficial and where we should start. And um, one of the first ones is a training on anti-reflective treatment. And anti-reflective treatment is something that is so great for opticals because it's one of those things that, I mean, you'll hear me say in Specs University all the time, what's best for the patient is best for the practice. It will absolutely transform not only the patient's experience when you can have a team that can properly sell, and yes, sell, we sell things, that's what happens, um, that can properly sell a pair of glasses to a patient, how amazing that patient's experience is and the return on investment that you get when you can teach your team how to properly sell, it'll change an optical. It'll change it overnight. So, I mean, that's one of the first ones is anti-reflective treatment. The next one, uh, I believe the next month is, is it annual supplies? Yeah, okay, so the, ne <laughs> the next month is annual supply training. Um, so with annual supplies for contact lenses, I mean, contact lenses are the same that you're selling in your office as they are that they're buying online, right? So what's really different? And we walk you through it and it'll absolutely transform your contact lens sales. And we have metrics so you can measure the change and see how great it is for you. Oh, doctors all the time. I feel like I'm on a freaking hamster wheel. Doctors and office managers both. Yeah, that it's just continual. Whether it's new hire, new hire, new hire. I mean, that's why we came up with Spexy 101, right? Or it's... You know, I feel like we can't get to the next level because we're just cleaning up all this crap all the time. Totally. We help to set a foundation for you. So that's the reason that we deliver it in the way that we do because we've got to set the foundation and grow on it. So, you know, you get the what we call drip fed content every month, right? You get four new classes every month to grow on and you will always have access to those previous classes as long as you're a Spexy University member. You will always have those previous classes to you know look back on so you'll have you'll build yourself a library but we feed it to you this way purposefully so that you can build on it and that we can teach you higher level things once you have a good foundation oh good question okay so um yeah the four main topics and why we picked them so the main topic the main topics that we make sure to cover every month is, um, one is optical uniqueness. So we identify what sets you apart. I mean, a term that is way overused in our industry is differentiation. Um, <laughs> and it drives me insane because it's so overused yet nobody's doing crap about it. So what we do is um, we help you identify what makes you unique and run with that, right? So we find what sets you apart. The next one is, um, uh, sales training, right? Because whether we like it or not, we're salesmen and your patient's amazing prescription that you just got them is only as good as the glasses that they're going into, in my opinion. So when you capitalize on making your patient's lives better, that happens to be sales in our industry, which is awesome. We teach you how to sell because it's not something that you're just born with, but honestly, sales is something that is learned. And so we teach you how to sell. Next, business metrics. So when you can master the analytic markers of growth, now you have a really good opportunity. So, um, so many doctors are, you know, running in the day-to-day, day-to-day grind, and they look at the overall, you know, bank account at the end of the month, and that's how they're running their metrics. <laughs> no, that's not good enough. So we help to set forth, um, you know, certain metrics and guidelines because honestly, I mean, everyone's heard of the concept before that which is tracked will grow, and it couldn't be more true in running your business. The fourth one, the last one is team focus. So we make sure and cover this every month because, you know, so many people are thrown into the position of, you know, office manager because they can count, you know, <laughs> or because they've been there the longest. Um, and we don't really master the art of running a prosperous team. And there's really a certain type of finesse that comes with being able to manage a team and have them excited to work for you and excited to grow. And so that's what Team Focus allows for us to do. So optical uniqueness, sales training, business metrics, and Team Focus every month. Of course we want them to sign up. I mean, it's so inexpensive not to. It's silly. So yes, so sign up. Sign up for Spexy University. It'll change your optical. <laughs> there you go. It's my whole sales pitch. No, I think this is great. I love it. Yeah. 
Let's do it again. We'll do it for all of them. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for not throwing some hard ones at me. <laughs> Could have been bad. I feel like I'm standing up here in my little soapbox.